Hi there, just a very quick one here. Um, we backed Acco Dice. Uh, it looked interesting on Kickstarter, uh, www.accodice.com. Neat little boxes here, these have just arrived today. I think these were Kickstarter rewards, freebies, so let's go into them first. Uh, these are certainly the lightest of the little boxes. And they're these neat, what I like about them, they're square edged, tiny little round on the corner, but they're more of a square edge thing. These are um, like a cream, glassy almost, but they're not. They're like an acrylic dice, but what they look like. They look quite neat, don't they? So that would there be, uh, oh, look, a double three, six. That one is three, four, five. That one is three, four, five. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's have another go. Three, four, five, that's six, that's four. Four. Yeah, so the, there's a, a three, four, five, there's a six. So it takes a little bit of counting up, but I mean, they're quite unique. I think the other box is the same. Let's have a look. Yep, so we've got some more of those. Quite neat dice. Interesting. Good for maybe futuristic or space games. You've got to get used. It does take a little bit longer to read the numbers on them. Oops. And of course, that is a cop die because it's scum. It, it was a one. It fell down to a one. Um, and I want, you know. Yeah. Now, let's get to the dice that I ordered. I ordered brass and the red ones. Now, I can tell that's the brass because it's a lot heavier. Let's do the nice red ones. And there's the red. Good little presentation box with some thick, dense rubber there that goes around them. And these have got a good weight to them. Uh, you see these well enough. I guess they're about 16 millimeters. Um, the measurements of the the the. The edges of the dice, the sides. I've just rolled a four there, look with the two. A four, eight. Did we roll the knot? Double's easy enough. Six on that one, five on that one, so yeah. Yeah. There's a six, seven. So neat. Quite nice. And now we go for these brass ones. These weigh. Blooming ton. I mean, literally, they are really heavy. Um, so there be a few marks on them, but I don't know whether that's just going to polish out. It's brass. I have no idea if these, do you know what? I never looked. I don't know if these are solid brass. They're certainly solid something. Uh, if they are solid brass, well, brass will just clean up. A bit of brass on them, and they'll, they'll, they'll be sparkling. I, I have no idea if they are actually, um, but. Anybody looking can soon go on to Echo or the Kickstarter and find out. But they're certainly heavy, very heavy. These are like a milled aluminium, I would think, those. I would think they are, by judging by the weight, but these are either steel or brass, I would think. And these are very heavy. And I'm, I can't throw them from there because it's a glass table. I wouldn't want to, but I can... Yeah, I've just rolled a three. Four, see, I'm, oh no, that's a five, and that's a four. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't be using these on this table, but we do have the um, the dice trays and stuff. Uh, you see, I've just rolled, a t it seems we roll doubles a lot of the same. But then, you know, there's a four and there's a three. They're quite neat. Yeah, and that's different. It was just, I think it was just... The way it was because I've rolled a five there and a one there. So I'm thinking of Merchants of Venus or something. Uh, futuristic. Um, Paul's nodding his head. What, else, what other games, mate? Anything you think of for these? Zaya? Oh, I don't know, really. Um, they're quite a futuristic thing, aren't they? Yeah. But they look neat. I'm sure we're going to apply them to some game, get them out and just get these bad boys out and just... Uh, for, for games where you're not going to use dice all the time, I think, it's going to be quite good. But, um, yeah, there you go.
That is the Akko dice. Quite neat, uh, uh, totally different sort of dice. Thanks for watching.